Alexa. Oh. Oh. I just got home from work and I asked Junebug for a kiss. Now she probably won't do it. Junebug, can I have a kiss? <laughs> can oh, I have a really? Kiss? What else, Boo Boo? Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. The and then she wanted to kiss her dad. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah, and then she wanted to kiss Boo Boo. Ah. <laughs> so that's so cute. cute. I can do it again. <laughs> okay. Ready? Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. So can you put into words how anxious you're feeling on the inside right now? Oh, I'm just trying not to think about it. So please, tell us. <laughs> but that, you're making me think about it now. I know. It, Do you want to give a quick, quick recap at where we're at right now? So we know nothing. We have our offer in place, which we know is higher than the other offer that they've already accepted, but that has a contingency on the couple selling their home and they have until 2 p.m. tomorrow, only because of like the official time stamp on our offer being made. I feel like as soon as we verbally offered our top dollar offer, like that's when their 72 hours should have started, but it was like almost an entire day later. So we have until 2 p.m. tomorrow, Friday. You'll be watching this Friday, Friday so 2 p.m. today, um, whether or not they drop their contingency and get the house or whether we get the house. Pretty exciting. Barbara, are you hoping we get the house and get the heck out of your house? <laughs> no. Aww. I'll miss my baby. We will be all the way up the side. I know. <laughs> it's a two minute walk away. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll still, I'll still drop them off. <laughs> <laughs> Frequently. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll drop you off at Grandma's. Bear just had an so, absolute meltdown. Yay! Hangry and couldn't have a cell phone. Yay! <laughs> like times like that, I'll be like, all right, we're going to grandma's. Give me a kiss. 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 Do you know Alexa. why? Barb, do you know why? Alexa. Ah. Oh. No. So, do you remember three nine? The subscription is three ninety nine a month to to activate this. Well, we talked about that. Yeah, I said. Since we have the other one. Oh, hey, buddy. Look, everybody's watching. <laughs> Uh, so trying to play a song. We need to set that clip up. So, Hi. Dennis. Hi. Was it my? No, was it Rachel that ordered a book on your? I ordered a book on our Kindle that we all share. So they share a Kindle account, and Rachel ordered a book, and so Dennis got like a credit card statement, and was looking at the credit card statement, and there's just this reoccurring three ninety nine dollar charge. <laughs> It's like Amazon just keeps charging me three ninety nine a month for like stuff that I didn't order. <laughs> well, yeah. turns out some unlimited music listening to. Mhm. Mm it was just funny because like we always we always play songs while they're taking a bath, and we've never run into this issue where like song after song, it's like you need the subscription. It's three ninety nine to sign up, and we're like, gosh. Like, did some, did they change something? And they were like, $3.99. the exact amount that you <laughs> So you have one for each Alexa then. Yeah. One for each account. Well, yeah. no. No, because three ninety nine is only like one yeah. device. Is only one device, but then it's like five ninety nine for unlimited devices. Uh, That's what we need to do. Yeah. Right. What happened is when we set that one up. Yeah. Like apparently, I did it on my business card. Uh, and then when we set that one up, Barb did it and put it on her personal card. Uh, so that's what threw me for the curve because all of a sudden I'm seeing I'm getting three ninety nine on both cards. Yep, makes perfect sense. Got it. You can see all the dollars by bundling them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dollars a year. Silly. That's it. Wendell. 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 Were you eating bubbles? 
Answer me. <laughs> Were you eating bubbles? <laughs> Were you? So we've been doing a lot of hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're just twirling around. Whoa, bear! As if they weren't like uncoordinated already. I know, right? They spin in circles like three times and they're just like. June bug! And you turn yourself around. Whoa. You're making me dizzy. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's a cute diaper. Diaper. Hey, bear. You put your head in. You put your head out. You put your head in. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You put your right foot in. You turn yourself around. That's what it's all Whoa, about. Oh, better just sit down. We've had to add an extra insert into his diaper. And bedtime. that is so thick. It's a really good cushion. Totally. <laughs> this is where we usually eat dinner. Just a little light reading while I'm finishing my dinner. I'm glad our closet looks so organized in the background of the clip. It's really aesthetically pleasing. It's like we live in your parents' basement or something. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. What are you doing here? So we're between two banks for our home mortgage loan. One of the banks sent us a breakdown of what the costs are going to be. So I'm just kind of looking it over. Comparing. No wonder <clears throat> why banks make so much money. The cost of a mortgage is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like over the life of it? All of it. Up front, too. Like the first five years, you pay a ton of interest. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so we're between... It's just kind of hard to swallow using the lender that we used for our house in South Carolina because we had such a horrible experience up front. Once the thing was, the loan was secured, it was fine, but like... Fine for you, was it for me? I know, and then we had know, ongoing man. issues, right. I know. It was so bad. Like, there was a shed in our backyard that they insisted we needed flood insurance on. And then we went to get flood insurance from USAA, which we use for all of our insurance, and they were like, that's ridiculous, this is an old law, is that right? And they were like, you don't need flood insurance. So we went back to US Bank, and they were like, nope, you need flood insurance. And it just kind of like, I didn't even, I don't think that I even was, grasped. That was half of it. And then, once we had flood insurance, adequate flood insurance, we would get a letter in the mail, like, probably once every 30 days that we didn't have adequate flood insurance. And so when I would call them, like, call the representative, like, oh yeah, you're good. You're, you're good to go. We've got it in your file. And then 30 days later, I would get another, I would get another paper. And you know, call him calling like a really big <clears throat> bank it's never like just like a quick call it always took at least an hour to like resolve the issue every month it was crazy it, yeah well then like it, in the beginning of the process when we were trying to get the loan secured like you have so much time to do that before i mean you have a time like a tight timeline from the date that you say you wish to close to get everything secured and lined up and that flood insurance thing wasted it, i mean it was like two weeks of back and forth and trying to get this figured out we had to get the the shed surveyed again it was just a nightmare so the idea of working with them again even though they're giving us like the best rate right now is still scary but i mean we're not going to get flood insurance we don't need flood insurance for this new house so we'll, we'll see whoever we'll gives us the be best good. rate that was something interesting about South Carolina, too, is you need flood insurance, but you also need hurricane insurance. Because if you get a flood from a hurricane and you don't have hurricane insurance, it's not covered. Not just flood insurance would work. Remember that? Mm -hmm. We were, we evacuated Hurricane Matthew, and I remember being, like, in North Carolina at our Airbnb or whatever, like, having a freak out moment because that night the hurricane was about to hit and we were like, do we have actual hurricane insurance? Like we were calling our insurance company to make sure. And it's like, if we don't, is it too late right now? Remember that? Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, it just the whole home was, buying experience brings back so many memories. It was nice because our insurance covered, because we lost electricity uh, for, I don't know, three or four days. And 
our insurance covered the food in the refrigerator. Yeah, it was that awesome. Was really nice. USAA was great. We call it a hurricane. Yeah. Because they covered our whole trip. If you haven't seen that blog. Oh, we recapped it. Yeah. We'll have to try to find it and put it in the description below or something because we recapped the whole thing and it was, we Snapchatted through the deal, but we weren't vlogging yet then. So um, yeah, it was fun to go back and relive that. Should we tell them? We should tell them. You ready to tell them? Mm-hmm. I was just looking at the comment from Jill Mead that was like, just gonna stop into Target for some milk and shirts and shoes, etc. <laughs> That's exactly. Target and Walmart. Yeah. You just I can't. Know. I literally was just going in there for milk and bleach and I didn't get the bleach. <laughs> but you ended up getting. Shirts and shoes. <sighs> Did you get service? I <clears throat> <laughs> get it. Mm. Good one. All right, we have a really, really exciting announcement. Hopefully the camera was nice and shaky for that. <laughs> do you want to say it or do you want me to? You. You. No, you do it. I think you should. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you go. No, you go. So we're going to be on a TV show. We're going to be on national television. Um, it's on the Up TV network. So you'll have to check your, your uh, package and see if you have that network. If you don't already watch it. If not, um, some of their episodes are online, so we're not sure if our episode will be uploaded online, and we know we can get, you can buy them on Amazon, uh, but we'll let you know when it gets closer. Mm -hmm. The actual air date is Thursday, May 23rd. And the show is called Expecting, and so it highlights different couples through their, maybe including the trying to conceive part i think including the trying to conceive and then their pregnancy journey and maybe just a glimpse of like newborn life so um they took our footage and we have not seen the episode like what they've done with it so. it's really nerve-wracking i mean we literally like sent them all all the raw footage <laughs> that we had for a full year pretty much a full year yeah he did all the legwork so it was i don't know Yes. It's going to be weird watching it. I exactly. Think. Like, you know, there was probably a team of three or four people, probably more than that, actually, mm -hmm. editing, like, our home videos. Which is interesting. Like, that's, there's stuff we cut out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Conversations we had off camera, or on camera, I guess, but didn't include in a vlog. So, yeah. I don't know what they saw, but no. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but we've watched we'll some of out. the previous episodes online you can go online and watch the full episodes and we'll leave links below for what we do have um but they're just like really heartwarming stories and the earl's family was actually on the uh season two episode one mm -hmm. and we're season two like episode five or something like that yeah so earl's family that's another vlogging family i think several of the families they've they've featured in this show are vlogging families on youtube so I mean, it makes total sense because they you know they need our our videos and who who makes videos like this exactly or vloggers That's people it. should you should yeah you should it's awesome if you don't yeah because it's fun to look back on but so we're really excited um we're really honored that they you know care enough about our story and think that it's worth showing on their their series so i can't wait to see it yeah and they have they have like a media team that they're going to reach out to like the local newspaper and news news station so i don't know if if you know we'll get in the newspaper or anything like that the local it's, newspaper yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because our boss when we first joined the practice ran an article in like the local newspaper and the local like magazine and so a bunch of my patients are like oh i saw you in the newspaper you have cute twins and like they know all about us before um, they even come in which is cool i don't think i had a single patient Oh my gosh, I have it all the time in Camdenton. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, we're we're excited to share this with you and excited to have you along for what's to come. Who knows what's coming? Yeah, seriously. Probably a baby. <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely a baby coming. Uh -huh. And there's definitely us being on TV coming. Yes. We know that for sure. Yes. So, stay tuned. Someone had a question. Someone e emailed us a question that I'm... A baby shower. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, who was that, Jamie? <clears throat> from Jamie, yes. She asked us. We actually got two emails from two, di two different, two different Jamies yesterday. Um, she asked about a baby shower for Rachel. 
You're not gonna do one, are you? I wasn't planning on it, yeah. no. Um, I think we have pretty much everything we need. Yeah. There was one thing I thought of that I might want that I was, if I were to register for something, this would be it. And it's the newborn taking care of babies is like a, um, a baby newborn sleep guru. Well, like newborn up to whatever age. And I guess like the newborn class is really good. And I felt like the newborn age with them was kind of a free for all with like what to expect and what to, I don't know. So that would be one thing that that's not worth even mentioning in this. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm still talking about it. What's that one crib that like senses the baby crying and then the like, uh, snoo? If you want to get us a snoo, you can send us a snoo. The PO box is in the description. <laughs> it's like twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> but go ahead. That, that would be that'd be fine. <laughs> uh, we're just kidding. No need to send us Don't anything. Don't send us anything. Um, it's a, it's okay. No, I think we have everything. So. But thank you. But thank you for offering. Yes. That's really sweet. Very sweet. All right. Well. I think we'll wrap it up here. I think we will. We yeah. shall see you probably tomorrow. If our lives are interesting enough today, being Friday, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh no, we will have news. We'll see. You we'll have news on the house. Oh yeah, tomorrow at two we'll o'clock. We'll know. Tomorrow at two o'clock is the deadline. Did we? get the house. What are we going to do if we didn't get it? Are we going to buy that other house? I don't know. Find out Saturday in our vlog. <laughs> we don't know either, so. <laughs> oh my God.